2010 Dodge Ram Crew Cab. Just put the strobe blade in there a little while ago. Front bumper's cut out for the raise up the plow mount for my snowway plow. Just gives me a better lift, gets the plow up and I put the trailer hitch in for the light boring in that. And I put the bolt switches in her. And it turns the tube now. That's my other light. But the strobes, and I'm gonna put another part to the video. Putting them in in the nighttime and putting them in the tail lights was easy. And obviously up there was easy. Put one on each side. That's the room, it's an older light. The headlights are the tricky part. Fine in a place, but I was forced to put them there. Can't tell you what. But so you've got an outer casing that you gotta get drill through before you can put in your before you can put in your one inch hole. And then you got to silicone the outer casing. Here's the, here's the light kit. Got offline from the States. I'm sure at one time it probably come from China. There's the lights, comes with the cables, comes with everything. That's the silicone I used for to reseal the headlights and where I came in through the backs I'll show there's the company come from Mississauga I thought it was the States so the cords are 15 feet on the crew cab on my 2010 I've got little tool boxes and this is where I put everything. Twist around a little bit, make you dizzy. Uh, Two-sided tape. Put the control panel in. I didn't have to cut no wires. I come from the tail lights and the headlights. The passenger side headlight barely makes it in here. And there's the switch. And I can change the strobe patterns. I think there's six different patterns. And I got an on and off switch there, so it just leaves this one on. And up there on the boat switches. Cause of the boat switch, because that's what it was for. Then I can just turn on and off up there, but if I wanted to ever, I can turn her off down here. And I come in through the side, don't know if you can see it. I found a rubber plug off a car, drilled the hole through, put the rubber plug in, but I, on the, below the truck there's a lot of silicone that same silicone I done with the headlights and just made sure she was well silicone so I don't get no air no fumes no dirt in there no water there was a there's a tub that goes in here but uh, I took it out because I just wanted to stick everything on there and that's it I was dreading doing it because of the headlights but once I got started and ran the wires and everything and everything fit, it all went perfect. And that's it. I'm going to, either before or after, I'll have a video of the lights in the nighttime. That's it.